Good morning, trippers. It is Thursday and we have woken to this incredible farm stay at the Cummel Farm in Silverton. As you saw from our episode yesterday, we had the most magical experience on the Camel Sunset ride. That was so wonderful. And the owner, Peter, is absolutely lovely. You hear that? Yes, that is a dingo. Peter actually owns a full breed dingo and a couple of half half dingoes she owns 11 dogs all up amongst many other animals she's absolutely awesome and today we're going to go over we saw some of the animals yesterday we're going to go over and see some more got a special treat she's got three two months old baby bison as well um which is going to be super cute. I've just got to keep my eyes out. We've got this uh, wayward emu that's territorial to the campground. It was her first ever emu. And uh, he used to be really lovely apparently, but he got very territorial when everybody else moved in. So, um, just need to keep your eye out for him. But he does beat his drum to warn you he's on his way. So we have to walk around with sticks and keep our eyes open. <laughs> it's so funny. And the really awesome uh, structure in the center of her, just over here. Just listening to that dingo, it's so cool. Over here in the, or in the center of her paddock is a replica of the Son of the Set from the Mad Max movie. So we're going to have a look at that later too. We're allowed to look at everything, which is brilliant. So today we're just going to explore, like I said, some bit more of the farm. Have a look at some of the things. I can hear him. Sorry, I've just got to keep my <laughs> wits about me. I'm going to explore some of the farm. Some more of Silverton. And then we'll end up in many of you. Oh, yeah. I see him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to look out for him. I see him. Hang on. So I'll keep on. I can still hear him going. It's okay. <laughs> All right. That's how you do it. <laughs> yes, he's over there. So now we've got to sleep with our sticks at our. <laughs> I'm just. Telling everyone we all got to sleep with our sticks at our campers. Oh yes. <laughs> and uh, I've spotted him now, so I know where he is. He's over there. Oh, there he is. Yeah. So I just had to have a word with him, so he didn't get too friendly. He doesn't fucking sleep. <laughs> he just all night he's beat, beating behind our camper. <laughs> <laughs> he knows that you're obviously a, there, a stranger. We've got our wrangling sticks, we're all good. 
so that was sunrise and uh, follow along and see what else crazy things we get up to today So this scene here that we're coming up to was um, an actually built replica of the scene, one of the scenes out of the Mad Max movie. Um, if you're familiar with that, you'll know it instantly. And uh, the guy from the Mad Max Museum in Silverton built it for them. That one's seen better days. wasn't part of the scene, was it? Yeah. That, um... Oh, oh that. Yeah. It was? Yeah. I don't remember. I thought that was a snake on the little stool. It's little goat horns. Oh.
I think old, old mate driver's seen better days. Oh, he's got a bag over his head. Why is the wheel face down? Yeah, and Adam, Adam. Oh, look 
Oh, you've got some, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, these might be different. He's a big one. Yeah, you can see the bigger, he's the bigger one. Yeah, he's the bigger one. Come on. They're all going here. One here. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, you've missed out. Go. Yeah, there's a bottle. Look. It's one of your ones you want to do. Yes, do you want to do it? Yes. Well, Charles, come and see. Yeah. Oh, the top? Yeah. yeah, I'll have a go, then you have a go, yeah? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, you're enthusiastic, aren't you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Quick, Charles, come and have a go because he's drinking it really scary. fast. Just keep it that angle. That's where you stand, sir. Yep. <laughs> Worst day ever, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> See them when they're big. You, you, hopefully, you'll remember. Probably <laughs> won't recognize. No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we missed a fat thing trying to get the milk to the bag. Yeah, you keep going.
Hello, can we just come and pat you? Hey. Hello. Hey. Will you stop chewing my stick? You're not having it. Hello. Hi. Oh. It doesn't wear the dog. Grab it. Mark, focus, just walked over the gate. Back. She walked oh, over the gate? Apparently. Oh, well, I suppose she could, couldn't yeah. she? Yeah. Oh, we ah. don't know. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at the baby. Oh, no. Elizabeth's attitudes. Can you go to Robert? No. Eeyore, no, don't you. Ah! <laughs> ah! Good girl. You've got to trust us now, have you? Okay. I want to hear your pretty drum sound. Can you do that? The drum sounds are a warning. I know. Hey, okay. see, we can be friends. We're friends, not food. Good girl. I know, you're very curious, aren't you? I know. That's a good girl. Hmm. <laughs> I'm very curious. Look at the He just devoured him. They just devoured him. He's to Watch them go down through their throats. It's so funny. Oh yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> I feel like a lump. Oh, I could spider wow. a rat. Here you go. Don't run up to dumpster. You walk up to them. <laughs> That's bizarre. He's like, what's happening? Oh, they're all getting stuck with the boat worm. <laughs> oh, this one didn't get any. Where's the other one? We've only seen three. There it is, I can see it's head up, up, oh, yeah, up the yep. back of that camel. Here, have a tomato. Oh. You should share. You're the man. Oh, you're the boy. Yes. Oh, that's why you want to If I was a girl and I was wearing the earrings then, it would have hit me on the ear. I love the story. I know, I know. They were trying to reach over and grab anything. Yeah, they'll here. grab, they'll hit your rings. Yeah, they'll hit, yeah, they were yeah. going, for, yeah. <laughs> Look at it going down his throat. That's, That's why right. if you ever see them in the bush and you're after gold doing your prospecting, always detect their feet. <laughs> a lot of guys have found a lot of gold in their feet. Wow. They just cruise around and they cover all that distance and they're picking up the shiny bits. Ah. So. That's a great idea. Yeah. It saves you a bit of time. Yeah. You just got to work out where they've been and where they found it. That's yeah. the big part. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, you guys going this morning. Good. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Where's the parties? Where'd they go? Oh, they're probably eating over there. Hello. Hi. Hey, baby. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> You're beautiful. Mm. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, hello. 
are you eating my fur? No, no we don't He's eat just Oh, we just want cuddles. Look at that, Kate. Oh, the baby. <laughs> oh, you are a big mush. <laughs> Look, now he's following you. He likes head scratches. He's re he's enjoying them. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Dad, can we keep him? He's so cute. Hello. Hi. They've got a slide. That's so cute. Yeah. Huh? Two goats. Forgot. Yeah. How are they going to slide down there? They don't, they climb. Oh, that would have been cute. Oh. Oh, that's a sweet spot. it isn't it where you can't get to yes <sighs> hey there you want a scratch Donkeys! Let's go see how to the donkey. How much is it per person to get to the It's expensive. It's a bit like the birds the big red bash. Oh, you Thank you. 
Oh my god, Dad, they don't like me. Fingers. That means you're pulling your hand closer to your body. Oh, you're so soft. You're so soft, Dad. They're so soft. Look, my hand sinks into them. Guys, I just wanted to let you know that um, the amazing Peter, owner of the Silverton Outback Camels, um, as you've seen, her um, farm is just magnificent and you can also stay there as well. It's only $10 per adult per night and $5 per child per night. Such a bargain for such an incredibly unique experience. It's really captured our hearts. And um, Peter will also is looking for people 
who are interested in wanting to come up and have a bit of spare time and just feed her animals uh, maybe for a week at a time so she can have a little bit of a break at times throughout the year. You won't be expected to have to uh, look after the camel rides, but uh, you will be just expected to have to feed the animals for her um, in the morning and the evening. The days are yours to do as you wish and um, you get to stay there for free and have the experience. So if you're interested at all in wanting to do that, get in contact with Peter from Silverton uh, camel, Outback Camels and uh, let her know that Family Trip has sent you. Um, and we've also been uh, offered an amazingly unique experience. We cannot wait and we look forward to bringing all the adventures that end up coming out of it. But we're going to be actually going and helping Peter to um, run and um, organize the upcoming um, camel rides and her petting zoo that she has set on location at the Monday Monday Bash in this coming August. So we're super pumped and excited to be able to help her out with that. And as I said, I'll make sure that we cover all of that footage on our trippers page. So be sure to keep watching for that too. So yeah, as I said, if you want a great experience and really excellent value as well, um, Peter does day camel rides as well as the sunset camel rides. So um, get on to her and uh, she can give you all the details for that too.